Uh, let's get to Maurice Hurst, the one guy who the Brown, another guy who the Browns have re-signed. I loved the signing of Maurice Hurst to the limited money last year. Uh, his contract seems to be similar to what Naheem Hines just signed for. I think it's like up to three and a half million dollars. Yep. Do we know the guarantee on Hurst? Have we seen I've that? I've not seen a guarantee yet. Just but up to three point two. How many games did he play before? I he think played? he played thirteen. I want to say he played thirteen games you last year. Mike? No. Oh, Reese Hurst did play in 13 games. 13 games? Look at did that. Did he really? <laughs> now, with Maurice Hurst, it's always about injury. But Is the that? fact that he's going to make <laughs> at most $3.5 million, even if he plays 13 games, he's worth it at that price. He's a good contributor, don't you think? Yeah, they've done a nice job on, under this regime of finding guys on the margins. Yep. And this is the, like, it's funny. <laughs> this, we may sound foolish six months from now, but I like the Hurst signing more than Zedaria Smith. Like, you're going to sound foolish for that. Per dollar. <laughs> per do- per yes. dollar. I, per I, dollar I, yeah. spent. I, I think it's I, – I really liked Hurst last year. I thought he yeah. fit well in the system. I'm glad that he's back. He was one of the guys when we talked last week that I thought for sure – I had him and Taki Taki as the two too. that were coming back. Yeah. I, too. I wonder if Shelby Harris ends up coming back too. I, I never thought it – like there was – I know some fans wanted Christian Wilkins and maybe the Browns talked to him. I don't know. But it never made sense to me – that they would spend huge money on a defensive tackle after doing that last year with Tomlinson. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're not going to spend forty yeah. million for two defensive tackles. That's not. I thought that they was going. I thought for sure it would be an edge. I would have liked Christian Wilkins. Yeah, but I, I mean, I still would like him. But the edge is the one. But I. Well, Alex Neil Wright, Hunter's still out there. He's the best pass rusher left. Oh, they're not going to su- do it. They're well, not, they're not do it now, now. But are you surprised they didn't go after him? I know he's old too, but. No. Instead of Zadarius. Because I feel like the, I, I know Daniel Hunter had a really good season, but his grades was terrible. And I don't even go off of the PFF. His grades was terrible. And it's just like, if you're going to go get a guy who's an older guy, just get the guy that's been in your system already. Like, now you got to teach him how to do certain things and teach him how to how we play around here. Like, just Zadarius Smith could get those things done. At the end of the day, he could still hold an edge down. But Mo Hurst, I like Mo Hurst in the rotation, especially if they're gonna continue to rotate these these two defensive interior guys. Mm-hmm. I think him with his production that he can have, you know, for a guy that doesn't have to be in every time, you know, you can, he's rotating like every two or three plays. It keeps his body fresh. He can always be a hundred percent when he goes out there, and he gives you something like. And clearly, the Browns love him. I mean, when he went, they they cut him. He decided not to even sign nowhere else. Yeah. Just to come back to the Browns after the uh, after the initial fifty three, because you yeah right right you know that rule. If you're on the initial fifty three yeah. and you get cut as a vet, you still get your salary. So they cut you and bring yeah. you back week one. You know that type of case. Thing. They don't want to pay you yeah, for the whole season. Yeah, you know, yeah. Man, dirty game, cutthroat stuff. All right.